Hey everyone, Alex from O'Brien here. I often get questions about the plastic impression copings for Strawman tissue level implants, and in this video, I'm going to give a quick overview of how they work. And there are two pieces that need to be used in order to get an accurate impression. The first is the white impression cap, which is attached to the implant first after the healing abutment has been removed. The round end of the impression cap has a lip that will snap over the outer edge of the implant. When seating the impression cap, ensure that the lip is completely engaged around the entire circumference of the implant to maintain accuracy. If the implant is too subgingival to verify an accurate seat, we do recommend using one of the screw-on impression copings instead, and those are available in both open and closed tray configurations. If you're trying to place the cap and it isn't snapping on, look at the round end of the cap to check for any damage. If there is damage to the lip, you'll need to get a replacement cap. After the impression cap is seated, the second piece you'll need to use is the positioning cylinder. The positioning cylinder will either be red if it's for the RN implant or white if it's for the WN implant. The octagon on the interface of the positioning cylinder matches the internal octagon of the implant interface so that when properly seated, it'll record the rotational position of the implant. When placing the positioning cylinder, lightly insert it through the impression cap into few resistance and then slowly turn the cylinder while continuing to apply light pressure. Once the edges of the cylinder's octagon have lined up with the internal octagon of the implant, the post will snap into place. When seated correctly, the positioning cylinder won't rotate and the top of it will rest on the rectangular end of the impression cap. If there's a gap between these two pieces, then they're not seated correctly. Once you've verified that the two pieces are correctly seated, you're ready to take the impression. I hope you found this video helpful and as always, feel free to contact us with any questions. See you next time.